Oculomotor nerve palsy The oculomotor nerve supplies the levator muscle of the eyelid and four extraocular muscles medial rectus, superior rectus, inferior rectus, and inferior oblique. These muscles elevate, depress, and adduct the eyeball. Moreover, the oculomotor nerve constricts the pupil through its parasympathetic fibers which supply the smooth muscle of the ciliary body and the sphincter of the iris. On the other hand, the superior oblique muscle is innervated by cranial nerve 4. while the lateral rectus muscle is supplied by cranial nerve 6. The third nerve begins as a nucleus in the midbrain. Dysfunction of the oculomotor nerve can result from damage anywhere along its course between the oculomotor nucleus in the midbrain and the extraocular muscles within the orbit. A complete oculomotor nerve palsy will result in a characteristic down and out position in the affected eye. Moreover, the affected person will also have ptosis or drooping of the eyelid and pupil dilation. Oculomotor palsy may be caused by different conditions. Like diabetes mellitus Hypertension Vasculitis Trauma infections Tumor Aneurysm, etc. Non-traumatic, pupil-sparing oculomotor nerve palsy is called as medical third. In contrast, those affecting the pupil are known as a surgical third. Ischemic involvement of the nerve, as in the case of diabetes, is commonly pupil sparing. On the other hand, aneurysmal compression usually involves the pupil. The key point to note is that somatic fibers are located in the inner part of the nerve These fibers are affected more in the case of ischemia. Like in the case of diabetes
Enlarged unreactive pupil suggests compression of cranial nerve 3 because the parasympathetic pupillary fibers are located peripherally in the nerve and are more likely affected by external compression. The compression of the external autonomic fibers renders the pupil non-reactive and thus leads to the surgical third nerve palsy. Like and subscribe to our channel for the next coming videos. Thanks.